Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video on the Ford 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost. Starting with a little basic background information on the 1.6 and 2.0 EcoBoost engines, the 1.6 EcoBoost is a 1.6 liter engine, it's an inline 4 design, and was produced between 2010 and 2019, though it largely began being phased out following the 2015-2016 years, but did remain in production there for a few years after that. On the other hand, the 2.0 EcoBoost is a 2 liter engine and also an inline line 4 design. It has been produced from 2010 through the present day. In 2015, Ford did update the engine and come out with a second variant known as the 2.0 EcoBoost Twin Scroll variant in honor of its Twin Scroll turbocharger on that engine. Really the biggest difference between these two engines is going to be the displacement of the 1.6 EcoBoost being 1.6 liters and the 2.0 EcoBoost being a 2 liter engine. They are both a part of the Ford EcoBoost engine family. As such, they share a lot of the same technology and base design in that again they're both inline four engines they're both turbocharged direct injected double overhead cam engines with aluminum heads and aluminum cylinder blocks so a lot of similarities between the 1.6 and 2.0 EcoBoost anyway with that said let's go ahead and jump into the bulk of the 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost conversation and start off discussing the reliability of these two engines and how they stack up against one another to be totally upfront neither Neither the 1.6 nor 2.0 EcoBoost have a great reputation for reliability, and a lot of that really boils down to one main issue with these two engines, and that is coolant intrusion into the cylinders. It's a very serious, potentially costly issue that, if not caught in time, can often lead to complete engine failure, ultimately doing more damage to the engine than it would cost to simply buy a replacement engine and drop a new engine in there. Even if the problem is caught in time, it still is a very expensive and complicated repair. And so ultimately that coolant intrusion is one of the main drawbacks and downsides to both the 1.6 and 2.0 EcoBoost. And this is a problem that's really plagued essentially the entire inline four EcoBoost engine family. Fortunately, these issues did mostly affect models in the 2015 to 2019 ballpark. So hopefully these issues 2020 and forwards will be less common on the 2.0 EcoBoost. Now, outside of the coolant intrusion, both engines are pro to their fair share of common issues. Generally, nothing that's too severe or too costly on either engine, but they do both have a couple other issues that are more common than others that are unique to each engine, which I don't want to dive into that too much. We do actually have videos on common problems and reliability for both the 1.6 and 2.0 EcoBoost. So if you're looking to learn more on either engine specifically, then check out either of those two videos or both of them for more info on common problems and reliability. Ultimately, for the purpose of this video and comparing the two engines, I would say it's kind of a toss-up as to which one is more reliable between the 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost. Neither one is any better or worse than the other particularly. So really, some of it just boils down to the luck of the draw, maintenance, and maintenance history, how well they're taken care of. Moving on to 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost performance, again, being in the same engine family and sharing much of their design in common, really what that means is the larger 2.0 EcoBoost is going to be the better performance engine. It delivers more power, more torque, quicker acceleration, and really that just boils down to having a four-tenths of a liter advantage on displacement. Looking at specifics, the 1.6 EcoBoost makes anywhere from 178 to 197 horsepower and 177 to 202 foot-pounds of torque. In the case of the 2.0 EcoBoost, it makes anywhere from 203 up to 252 horsepower horsepower and 221 to 270 foot-pounds of torque. Ultimately, that gives the 2.0 EcoBoost a roughly 25 to 50 horsepower advantage, and that's mostly going to hold true when it comes to aftermarket modifications. If you're looking to pick up either one of these engines, given their turbo engine design, they are easy to modify for more power and torque. That said about performance, despite the 2.0 EcoBoost being the better performance engine, the 1.6 EcoBoost in a way balances that out with its small engine design, it's going to be the more fuel efficient engine between the two. 
And ultimately, if you're just looking for an A to B engine, oftentimes the 1.6 EcoBoost has more than enough power and torque for most. And if you're just looking for something to get from A to B and not looking for some sort of performance car to do anything crazy with it, the 1.6 EcoBoost is still a good engine and still has plenty of power for most. Anyway, that really wraps up the bulk of the 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost conversation. In summary, the larger 2.0 liter EcoBoost has the performance advantage from both the factory and in the aftermarket world. So if you're looking to tune, modify, and upgrade either of these engines and want something for a bit more performance, then the 2.0 EcoBoost is going to be the better bet. And on the other hand, with the 1.6 EcoBoost, again, if you just want something to get from A to B, then the 1.6 EcoBoost is still a solid engine and offers plenty of power, especially for a lot of these smaller, lighter weight vehicles that these engines are found in. When it comes to reliability, again, the 1.6 versus 2.0 EcoBoost, it's a bit of a toss up as to which one is better or if either is better than the other. It really just depends on maintenance history, how well the engine's taken care of, oil change intervals, and again, a little bit of the luck of the draw. Neither the 1.6 or 2.0 EcoBoost would be my first pick, mainly because because that coolant intrusion issue is something that was pretty serious and really brings down the overall reliability for both of these engines. So ultimately in that sense, that's not to say that they're terrible engines or can't be reliable. It's just that is one serious problem that's really a big drawback to potentially owning either the 1.6 or 2.0 EcoBoost. Anyway, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you appreciated the content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out the description below for more. Thanks, everyone.